Welcome back, everybody. In the comments, I've seen a lot of neat palindromes, most of which I've seen before, but here's one I haven't seen that I really like. Nurse, I spy gypsies, run. Let's check it out. Nurse, I spy gypsies, run. Isn't that cool? Keep them coming. I love those palindromes. Now today I'm going to prove that 1 equals 2 for the third time because some of you still don't believe me. Some of you find fault with those other proofs. This one I don't think you'll be able to find fault with. I'm going to be using the identity a minus b quantity squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. If you're not familiar with that, you can prove it to yourself by simply writing out a minus b twice multiplying both terms in the first bracket by both terms in the second bracket. We call that FOIL in English. Add the middle two terms, which will both be negative AB, and you'll get that expression. Otherwise, just take my word for it. So, let's get right down to it. I'm going to start with the number minus 6. And you might say, well, where in the world does that come from? Each Proof normally has some kind of a starting point, some kind of a trick that you need to impose in order to get the answer. For example, in my first proof of 1 equals 2, I started off with A equals B. And all sorts of people said, you can't do that. Well, sure I can. There's nothing wrong with A equals B. Perfectly fine. In this case, I'm going to start with the number negative 6. As follows. Negative 6 is... 4 minus what? 10, which is equal to 9 minus what? 15. I can rewrite that as 2 squared minus 2 times 5 equals 3 squared minus 3 times 5. And then I can do the following little trick. 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times 5 over 2, where those 2's cancel, equals 3 squared minus 2 times 3 times 5 over 2, where those 2 2's cancel. So far so good. And now I'm going to add to both sides 5 over 2 squared. just coming in. Hopefully she won't make too much noise. Keep the rest of the expression. So I've got 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times 5 over 2. And I've got 3 squared minus 2 times 3 times 5 over 2. Now if you go back to this identity, we can recognize each of these two expressions as a form of this where in this case a is 2 and b is 5 over 2, and in this case a is 3 and b is still 5 over 2. So I can write those both as complete squares. The first one being 2 minus 5 over 2, a from here, b from here, and this one being 3 minus 5 over 2 from here, same B from there. Where do I go from here? Well, I take the square root of both sides. If I take the square root of both sides, I get 2 minus 5 halves equals 3 minus 5 halves. Right? Wrong. What's wrong with that? Oh, you got to do plus or minus. Okay, let's do plus or minus. You're right. Whenever you take the square root of something, you got to do plus or minus. So I get plus or minus equals plus or minus. By the way, if you have the square root of 9, that's just 3. But if you have x squared equals 9, then you have to allow for plus or minus, plus or minus, whoops, <laughs> plus or minus 3. Okay, so if we take into account the pluses or the minuses, you can see just by looking at this 
that 2 equals 3. Everything else is the same, so that must be that. And if I just subtract 1 from both sides, I get 1 equals 2. There you have it. QED, big fat check mark, or better yet, smiley face. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You're, you're going to insist that I take the plus on one side and the minus on that side. Okay, let's go back and do that. Let's take the plus on the left and the minus on the right. <clears throat> so what do I get here? I'll do it up here for the lack of space. 2 minus 5 halves is negative 1 half. 3 minus 5 halves is 1 half. It's positive, so. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to put a minus sign here. I erased the wrong one. Let's just fix that real quick. So I also get minus 1 half. But we already know that. Nothing new there. What's new is this. There you have it. 1 equals 2. Can't argue with that. Think about it. Comment, like, share. Let me know what you think. All the best. Bye-bye.